harsh we often hear workplace conflict is the biggest setback for company where there is a disagreement over a task employee unable to meet expectations and interpersonal conflicts so harsh is there a way that we can manage conflicts in a more efficient way right so this this story i have learned from my guru uh, gaur gopal das ji and this has benefited me a lot better to manage conflict situations so your question here obviously is on how do you resolve or manage uh, conflicts better let me start with a story here once there is a teacher and she asked a question to arnav arnav if you already had two mangoes and if i give you two mangoes so how many mangoes do you have in total on this arnav said five madam she just thought and she remembered that arnav mother had told her that anna loves strawberry now teacher thought of changing the question from mangoes to strawberry and let's see what the answer was so arnav let's say if i give you two strawberries and if you already have two strawberries then how many strawberries do you have in total on this arnav said madam four teacher was excited and she thought that you know the strategy is working but just to make sure that arnav has got its maths right she again tested arnav with the same question so arnav now once again if i give you two mangoes and you already have two mangoes so how many mangoes will you have in total are now once again with all honesty he said madam five on this the teacher was really agitated and angry and she said arnav if i give you two mangoes and if you have already two mangoes how come it is five whereas if i give you two strawberries and you already have two strawberries how come it is four to this arnav again said madam simple because already i have one mango in the bag isn't it isn't it very strange the question here is with before we start resolving conflict here is who is right well this brings us to a very important lesson of technically right versus practically right teacher is technically right where 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and arnav here is practically right because he already had that one mango that one hidden mango now technically right is what is seen and can be measured but practically right is something where it's a hidden mango which cannot be seen but it does really exist in a form of feelings in the form of emotions in your attitude in your behavior in your rightness now this is what brings us to important learning on managing conflicts if you have arguments with your spouse or with your kids not listening to you or your boss is not really appreciating your work in all the case please understand somewhere someone is technically right and somewhere someone is practically right but in the entire situation the thing is are you able to find that hidden mango that's where the important thing is so my friend the question to everyone and the question to you is is there a way to resolve conflict with your spouse by being that friend once again the day you had met is there a way to resolve conflict with your kids by allowing them to give them your shoulder first then speak and then really you know try to understand that is there a way to resolve conflict with your boss or your team members by practicing gratitude first and then talking about the improvements or whatever the situations led to that well life is all about possibilities and each possibilities will have some obstacles it's a choice we can make either to remain in conflict or to find that hidden mango and enjoy the fruits So remember if you are in that conflict situation find that mango and just enjoy the fruits thank you